Hey guys, it's Smooch AK again. Uh, one of the things that I forgot to mention or talk about um, is Cloud of Darkness's six star form. Now, I didn't really have a whole lot of insight into her because, quite frankly, I'm not a huge fan. I don't like the art, I don't like the animation. It's just like a really slow attack animation and everything. But at this point of the game, I think it's going to be um, undeniable that she's very effective and if you happen to have one or two, then you're going to want her in your party. Unless, of course, you're one of those people that has multiple lightnings or something like that. So let's go over what makes her really good. <clears throat> First of all, her six star stats are... Um, her health is not amazing, but it's uh, noticeably better than the five star form, obviously. The attack is really high, 149, and as you'll see, it goes even higher. <clears throat> now. The elemental resistance and status resistance is pretty nuts. I mean, she had some of this already, but it's kind of been upgraded, especially the status resistance. 30% resistant to everything, plus 50% for the elements. So I guess this kind of offsets the uh, HP thing, um, which isn't even that terrible, but you know, she is more durable than she appears. So uh, this is pretty crazy. Of course, the equipment selection is still as poor as ever, but um, for those of us who are around to get the Lunar pest Pestle in one of the events, not going to be a real problem. I'm hoping to farm up um, Rising Sun from Locke pretty soon, but until that happens, uh, Lunar Pestle will do just fine for most people. Now, the thing that um, I thought was really interesting is that um, she gets a lot of useful passives, but also support type skills. So Maneater plus increases the um, bonus damage to humans from 50% to 75%. And as you know, a lot of the big bosses and main enemies are considered um, humans. So that's a very good passive. HP plus 20%. Again, that's going to make her more tanky than um, she already is. Aura Ball, reduce attack for three turns and silence all enemies. If there's a situation where you'd want to silence, you know, in an AOE basis, that could be pretty useful. Um, <clears throat> Omni Veil, this is the one that I'm most excited about. Increase all elements resistance 30% for three turns to all allies. That is a really, really great support skill, and we don't even have anything in global yet uh, other than this to raise resistance um, to the elements. We kind of did it indirectly by raising spirit, but this is um, the first time we get to actually increase all elements directly. Uh, the resistance to them. So this is an amazing support skill. Another amazing support skill uh, is she's able to cure all these status ailments to um, everyone at the same time. So if you combine Omni Veil and Comeback with a Refia healer, you're getting a lot of the things that makes um, six star, well I guess even five star Tilith so good. Um, you're kind of covering a lot of bases, so this is a really exciting development for Cloud of Darkness owners. And then, of course, attack plus 30%, which is an amazing passive. Um, plus 30% is always a welcome sight. Uh, and Call of the Void is uh, kind of more situational. The multiplier is kind of low, even with the ignored defense. Um, I think that brings it up to 2.8. It's still not as good as Barrage. Um, but there are situations where you'd want to use Call of the Void instead. For instance, if you are fighting against two enemies and you want to target just one, you could use Call of the Void to make sure that you know, you're not splitting up the damage as you would with Barrage. Another situation would be, obviously, if the enemy is weak to, dark, um, to the dark element, this would be better. But for the most part, you'll still be using Barrage as her main attack skill, but combined with these other supports and passives, She's a very good character. I'm going to have to bust her out even though I don't like using her um, because she's just that good. And then of course she still has her old skills. Perfect Void becomes a little bit better. So um, if you're still farming the Pumpkin event, you want to make sure that you have these Awakening materials ready to go. I'm going to have to make sure that I have at least two of those ready to go because I have two Cloud of Darknesses maxed out. So. Um, very very good character um, she does fall off later in you know like in Japan she's no longer considered a top tier attacker or anything but in global right now she's definitely up there 
in fact, let me just show you the rankings according to the wiki, which of course is not 100% accurate, but um, so they have Lunith and Lightning tied as at number one, and I think that's fair. Um, you know, some Lunith does have some advantages, Lightning has some advantages, um, although I still think Lightning is overall a little bit better. But Cloud of Darkness is right after, at, tied at number three with Dark Knight Cecil, and Cloud of Darkness at this point is a better character than Dark Knight Cecil because she doesn't have to harm herself, and also she has those great support skills that we talked about. And then there's Dracula as well, which hardly anybody even has, so um, if you were to have, if you got Lunith, you have a Lightning, everybody has a Cecil pretty much, and you get Refia and Cloud of Darkness upgraded to six stars, these five units here, you would have a killer, killer party. Um, and cover pretty much every base. You would have um, Refia with the healing and you know support with um, boosting attack and defense. You would have Cecil also healing, tanking, and boosting magic and spirit. Lunith and Lightning for pure offense. Cloud of Darkness for some offense and some amazing unique support skills like the element resistance that we mentioned or um, you know healing status elements and stuff like that. You're going to have everything covered with these top five units, so um, I'm excited because I do have Cloud of Darkness and I was not lucky enough to get a Lightning. I'm probably not even going to get a Lunith, so I'll probably have a couple of these um, CODs in my party, even though she's ugly. So um, yeah, I'm really excited. It's There's a lot of cool developments today, and um, I'm really looking forward to Friday.